Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Pop Shop. Uh, good to be back. Great day. It's sunny. A little bit cool, but perfect day. Hope everybody's doing good this weekend. Just thinking back on a little saying, and I think there was a song about it that said, just build me a cabin in the corner of glory land. Well, you know, don't know how you feel about that, but I've invited a good friend, one of the greatest people you would ever meet in your life to come and share what he thinks about that on the pop shop. Turn it over to Mr. Gary Collins. Come on, Gary. Hey, man. I want to thank you, uh, Brother Jim, uh, for allowing me to be a part of a pop shop. We watch it all the time, and uh, we enjoy it. Amen. But we want to talk this morning about the, the phrase, uh, uh, just build me a cabin in the corner of glory. Now, I understand the, the thought process there, uh, you know, uh, thought, excuse me, of uh, being humble and, and thinking, you know, if God would just do that, you'd be satisfied. And, and that's a, that's a nice thought. However, it, it's just not a, a, a biblical way to look at things. I, I thank God for the Bible that He's given us a Bible, a roadmap, if you will. And we don't have to just, uh, go through life wondering, uh, what God expects out of us and what He's going to do for us and how we're supposed to live our life. But we got a Bible that we can read and, uh, the Lord left it here for a reason. In John chapter 14, verse number one, it says, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. So don't worry about this thing. God got it all under control. Verse two, in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. The, the Lord said there's a bunch of mansions already there, but I'm going to prepare a place for you. Amen. And if he's prepared, prepared a place for them, uh, he's going to prepare one for us. He prepared a mansion for them. He's going to prepare one for us. I'm so glad that the Lord told us uh, what we can expect is, and that we can expect a mansion when we get there, amen, I'm excited uh, about seeing my mansion. I believe it's going to be uh, catered to, to my desires and my thoughts and what my like or what I would like, amen. Uh, I think it's going to be that way for everybody. Uh, uh, God knows what uh, what you like, and He's going to uh, make that mansion uh, specifically for you. I believe that in my heart. And I'm so glad that we're going to a place whose builder makers God, amen. Uh, hey, we're going to see the first and the last, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the lily of the valley, amen. Uh, uh, the bright morning star. I'm glad that we're going to a place and when we get there, we're not going to just walk around uh, uh, trying to find our cabin out in the middle of the woods, amen. Uh, hey, but we're going to have a, a, a mansion on Glory Land Avenue. I'm excited about going there, and I'm excited about the trip to make it there. God bless you. Thank you, Brother Jim. Bye-bye. Ooh-wee. That's a good word right there. I don't care what you say. That's a good word. I appreciate you, Pastor Gary Collins. I appreciate the word. I appreciate your love and your friendship. And until next time... Love God, love people.